organism next character is metabolism so what is the metabolism the body of all living organisms made up of several chemical substances those chemical substances were called as biomolecules so these biomolecules are synthesized constantly and at the same time they will be broken down into simpler substances that means several chemical reactions occurs in the body of the living organisms like several chemical reactions like photosynthesis and respiration we know that so these are all the chemical reactions so these chemical reactions they help in the maintaining the life of the living organisms if these reactions are not occurring then the living organisms that cannot survive that means the this metabolism is a particular character of the living organism hence it is called as defining feature of the living organisms if there is no metabolism what will happen the living organisms cannot survive they cannot able to survive they cannot able to grow right they cannot able to reproduce and here non living things they do not show any metabolism and what is the definition of metabolism we have to we we know that the different types of chemical reactions occurs in the body here some total of all chemical reactions occurring in the body of the living organism that is called as metabolism all the chemical reactions occur in the body of the living organism is called as metabolism and these metabolisms are of two types one is anabolism and second one is catabolism anabolism means synthesis or the formation of the any substance or any molecule is called as anabolism and what is catabolism breakdown of reverse to the anabolism is a catabolism breakdown of any substance is called as catabolism if we see the example of anabolism from the amino acids proteins were synthesized or proteins were formed that is the example for anabolism and what is the example for catabolism we know that from the sugar atp was generated right how here the sugar molecule is broken down into water molecule and carbon dioxide to liberate atp that atp is used as energy source by the living organism the body of the living organism this is the example of catabolism the next characteristic feature which is exhibited by the living organisms is consciousness the next unique feature exhibited by the living organisms was consciousness here what is the consciousness living organisms they were able to detect the changes in its surroundings and they can sense their surroundings and act according to it that is called as sensitivity so the living organisms uh, the ability of a living organisms to detect the changes in its environment and respond according to it that is called as sensitivity and here what is a stimulus here the living organisms they have we can able, they were able to respond to the changes right so those changes that can be detected by the living organisms they were called as stimuli and according to the stimuli the body of the living organisms that show the response and here there are different types of stimuli were present like physical stimuli chemical stimuli to see the physical stimuli the intensity of light photo period sound changes in the temperature or the physical stimuli and chemical stimuli means uh, examples are pollutants and acids if you see in summer what will happen because of the increase in the temperature our body shows a response right according to the temperature stimuli of the temperature our body shows sweating that is the response exhibited by the body and all organisms that was able to detect the changes and according to that that can respond and showing the movements for example if you see a touch me not plant if we touch the touch me not plant it feel that touch stimuli and according to the that stimuli it, it will folds its leaves here what is the response of the plant folding of the leaves is the response given by the touch me not plant for example if you throw a, a rock or stone on the dog it will feel the pain 
and according to that it shows barking and next one blooming of the flowers some of the flowers they will bloom in the night time and some flowers they bloom in the day time according to the availability of the light they will bloom and sunflower if you see the sunflower the sunflower shows the movement according to the movement of the sun that is also one type of stimulus and response and if you see some plants and animals they were seasonal breeders like uh, some of them they they will breed in the summer some of them they breed in the rainy season and some of them they breed in the uh, autumn example soya bean radish and uh, some animals like sheep goat horse they will breed at a different season here their reproductive ability that changes according to the length of the day that is called as photo period and here the plants are sensitive to external factors like the light temperature water pollutants etc so because of these factors they show the growth next one is human beings so in all the living organisms the most highly conscious organism is the human being only so we we know that how to behave in the public how to talk how to walk how to dress up and so we have the more highly self consciousness so human being is the highly conscious living organism on the earth and here the sensitivity and awareness is only exhibited by the living organisms it is absent in the non living things hence it is the defining property of the living organisms so with this we have completed the characters exhibited by the living organisms next we will see the biodiversity so next topic is biodiversity or diversity in the world in the living world here if you see in a particular environment there are different types of organisms are present we can found different varieties of plants animals birds insects shrubs herbs and they can be seen with the eyes and some organisms are cannot be seen with the naked eye they are called as microorganisms which can be seen with the microscope like bacteria fungi virus all those will be seen all those will be present they cannot be seen so like this different range of organisms are present in particular area here if you see uh, uh, several places like forest plateaus deserts there are also different kind of living organisms are present and the number also varies and here the all the living organisms present on earth that was referred to as a biodiversity all the living organisms which are present on the earth that is referred to as biodiversity here biodiversity is the number and kind of organisms found on earth at different places and different varieties of the organisms are found right so some species which are found in one place we cannot found that those organisms in some other place depending on the climate conditions the variety of organism changes from the place to place the diversity differs each habitat has its own biota for example in uh, polar regions different types of uh, organisms are present in terrestrial uh, tropical areas different uh, organisms are found in deserts one type of organisms found in uh, aquatic condition another type of organisms were found that means each habitat exhibits its own variety of living organisms and here if you see the biodiversity the word biodiversity it was derived from the greek language here bios means life diversity means forms and here biological diversity it is the vast range of species like plants animals insects microorganisms fungi algae which are found on the earth almost all the living organisms found on earth that is called as biodiversity and these organisms they may be present either on terrestrial habitat that is on the land or they may be also present on the aquatic condition that is in the water and here according to the iucn international union of conservation of nature and natural resources these according to this iucn they said that currently nearly 1.7 to 1.1 million of living organisms have been recognized but still millions of organisms that cannot be recognized yet so they need to be discovered so this is about the diversity in the living world